Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Marvel, My Dad is Galactus. Chapter 101. Bruce, if you want to completely control the out-of-control self in your body, it's not enough to just keep grinding it out through fighting and releasing. This is equivalent to your body being controlled by two completely different people. You are the calm side, and he's the angry side. In a quiet training room, Sal faced Bruce who looked respectful and spoke slowly. Although he is not as good at studying the soul and spirit, with his understanding of the soul and spirit, it is not complicated to find out Bruce's physical condition. The medicine injected into Bruce's body when he was young changed him, but only on a physical level. As for his soul, it will always be one, but it has two extreme sides. I want to solve this problem the method, in addition to starting with the body and constant stimulation, also requires mental training. Mr. Sal, I understand what you are saying, so what should I do? Bruce asked with a look of humility and longing. It can be said that the person talking to me now is Bruce Banner, the world-famous nuclear physicist. When your anger loses control, you are no longer you, but the green giant Hulk. However, despite your appearance, different, but the soul is unified. To solve this problem, you need to achieve balance and blending. Looking at Bruce indifferently like a student, Sal calmly spoke and told the solution. Balance and blend. Bruce looked confused. Could it be that he and his other self divided the body into two halves and each of them enjoyed one half? Or is it blues during the day and Hulk at night? Yes, this is actually a very simple truth. Do you understand? Bruce Banner has an easy-going personality, which can even be said to be weak. He must have been treated unfairly too much in reality, while Hulk is completely unable to accept injustice, Bruce will express all the unfair treatment received by Bruce Banner through crazy anger. Only when the two personalities of Bruce Banner and Hulk are balanced and blended together can you be the real you. Thrall spoke. It can be said that if Bruce's situation falls on ordinary people, he should be living in a mental hospital now, and he has reached where he is today because of the awakening power in his body. Perhaps even Bruce himself didn't realize it. I don't know from which day he gradually became accustomed to the unfair treatment and bullying in life and became accustomed to cowardly behavior. At that time, Bruce's suppressed anger in the deepest corner of his heart also made Hulk what he is today. Sal's voice was filled with powerful spiritual power, and every word was transmitted to the deepest part of Bruce's mind. He said these words not only to Bruce, but also to Hulk. Moreover, this powerful spiritual power carries an extremely strong spiritual suggestion, which naturally allows Bruce and Hulk to proceed according to the method he said. I will use my mental power to help you. There may be some discomfort in this process, just stick to it. Following Sal's voice, powerful spiritual power surged out of Sal's body and poured into Bruce's body. Sal needs to use spiritual power to guide the two completely different personalities in Bruce's body to get closer spiritually, and then integrate them together to reproduce his true self. If it were another person, it would be absolutely impossible to forcefully combine two different people into one through mental power. That is to say, only a strong person like Thrall or Ancient One, whose soul is extremely powerful, and whose understanding of the sea of spirit has reached a very deep level, can try it. But you also need fine control. Otherwise, with just a little mistake, even if Bruce's two personalities are synthesized into one, the new Bruce will most likely be a fool. Or crazy. Ah, even with Sal's strong mental suggestion in advance, when two completely different personalities came into contact in Bruce's body, it also brought considerable discomfort to Bruce. Even a sharp pain from the soul. These two completely different souls are like water and fire. As the saying goes, water and fire are incompatible. What Sal is doing now is to integrate water and fire, and it is a 100% flawless blend. For Bruce and for Sal, it is a challenge. Definitely, Thrall could have chosen other ways as well. For example, use extremely powerful spiritual power to construct some kind of spiritual seal, completely binding Bruce or Hulk's personality and sealing it. With the power of his level godfather, this sealed personality will never appear again in this life. But in this case, one of Bruce and Hulk will disappear forever. Leaving Bruce, the power in his body, with his weak personality, may be difficult to master, let alone complete Thrall's fatten plan. And the other angry Hulk personality, that's even more haha. -ha. How can a person who only has anger in his head learn magic? 
roar. In Bruce's body, a roar similar to some kind of furious beast also sounded, which was full of pain and anger. Under the extreme pain stimulation of the integration of two extreme personalities, Bruce's body shook violently, and his muscles began to crack continuously, with traces of green filling the air. It was obvious that he had a tendency to go berserk. Bruce's personality's control over his body was almost reaching its limit. However, with this terrible pain, even the rational man felt like he wanted to transform into the Hulk and destroy everything. Just calm down. Following Sal's low shout, the nebula particles suddenly burst out, heading towards the struggling Bruce to suppress them. The body of Bruce in front of him swelled. It was obvious that his rational personality could no longer control his body, and Hulk was about to come out. At this critical moment, Thrall doesn't want Hulk to come out. Although with his strength, it is impossible for Hulk to hurt him, but if something unexpected goes wrong in the blending of the two personalities, it will not be the result Thrall wants. The nebula particles spread like water, wrapping Bruce's entire body in it, and immediately imprisoned him like a substance. With Thrall's powerful strength, the nebula particles solidify and imprison Bruce. Even if Hulk is ten times or a hundred times stronger, it will definitely be difficult to struggle. Under the seal-like confinement of the nebula particles, Bruce even let out a painful roar in the quiet room, and the whole thing was wrapped tightly. After imprisoning Bruce's body, Sal concentrated his energy and continued to use his powerful spiritual power to guide Bruce's two different personalities, allowing the two personalities to blend together. In this process, Thrall was not eager for quick success. If the speed was too fast, the pain caused by Bruce might be unbearable, and it would have an irreparable impact on his soul. If Bruce's magical ability was weakened as a result, that was not what Thrall wanted. The desired result. The time of blending Bruce's two personalities lasted for nearly an hour. Sal's spiritual power was always supervising and guiding and also witnessed this process. Before, Sal had come into contact with Kamar Taj's many ancient books on the soul and spiritual power, and he had quite a wealth of theoretical knowledge. Now there happened to be a special case like Bruce for him to study carefully, which allowed Sal to understand the spiritual soul and body. The understanding of the relationship between them has deepened a lot. The sphere of nebula particles surrounding Bruce slowly dissipated, and Bruce's body returned to normal. Without the confinement of the nebula particles, Bruce's face was a little pale, his whole body was soaked with sweat, and he fell into a coma for a short time. However, through Sal's mental power perception, Bruce's two completely different personalities have been perfectly integrated, and from now on, there will no longer be any loss of control. I don't know what kind of changes will happen after integrating the two personalities and becoming my true self. Thrall withdrew his spiritual power with great interest and thought about this issue. Now that the problem of the two personalities in Bruce's body has been properly resolved, his violent fatten plan can be started after Bruce wakes up and simply recovers and becomes familiar with the transformation. Compared to the changes in Bruce's personality after integration, Sal was more concerned about the green fat man's magic and what surprises it could bring him. Within a week, Bruce had completely adapted to his new self. At the same time, he also mastered the transformation of Hulk in his body, and met Thrall again. Mr. Sal, I'm here to thank you. Standing in front of Sal, Bruce bowed slightly and spoke with gratitude and respect on his face. Sal looked at the, new, Bruce Banner with satisfaction. After blending the two extreme personalities, Bruce's entire temperament has undergone some strange changes, which is no problem for a freshman. Today's Bruce is no longer as cautious as he used to be, whether it's the way he feels or the way he acts. However, for Sal, Bruce was sincerely grateful and in awe. He deeply knew that he could become a brand new self, and all of this was given to him by Sal. Bruce, this is just a small thing. You don't need to take it too seriously. How are you adapting to your new self these days? Sal waved his hand slightly, looking very easygoing. Mr. Sal, the reason why I say thank you is not because you solved the problem that has troubled me for a long time, but because you allowed me to see a whole new world and gave me a new life. I now understand that it is precisely because of the past that my own inner weakness has led me to two completely different extremes. Now I will not make the same mistake. Bruce's resolute words naturally revealed a tenacious will in his words. Knowing oneself clearly and being oneself firmly are also one of the indispensable conditions for becoming a strong person. 
It seems that you are indeed different from before. In this case, what I said before also counts. If you want to pry into the secret of magic, I can help you. Feeling the difference in Bruce, Sal showed a somewhat unpredictable smile and nodded slightly. With Bruce's current mentality, Sal wanted to see what he would achieve after learning the secrets of magic. Hearing Sal's words, Bruce's eyes showed a bit of curiosity and desire. After the two personalities merged together, he no longer had any troubles. Instead, he understood better what he wanted. Mr. Sal, no, teacher. Facing Sal, Bruce's eyes were blazing, and his gratitude turned into respect. At this time, Bruce didn't even know that the way he looked at Sal was somewhat similar to the way the magicians of Kamar Taj saw Sal. Ancient One Magician, I'm leaving. Two months later, Thrall appeared in front of the Ancient One and bid farewell. After careful calculation, it has been nearly a year since he came to Kamar Taj. He has almost completed what he should do, and it is time to leave. In the last two months, Sal completed what he promised to Bruce and taught Bruce the secrets of magic he had learned. Thrall's understanding of magic far exceeds that of everyone in Kamar Taj. Even the Ancient One is far inferior to Thrall in some aspects. Because the height of the station is different. As a disciple of Agamotto, the first Sorcerer Supreme, Ancient One inherited the magic created and promoted by Agamotto. However, even Agamotto, the descendant of the ancient god, at his peak, compared with Thrall, had huge amounts of gap. This gap is not only reflected in strength, but also in vision. Limitations of vision The magical path developed by Agamotto has huge amounts of limitations. It is just a trail and it is difficult to reach the real end. But Thrall is different. Through the performance of magic and the essence of the universe, he studies carefully, and the path he obtains is the real road, leading to the ultimate mystery of natural magic. Let him teach Bruce personally, combined with Bruce's originally extremely superior magic ability, and the result will be completely different. Perhaps in the early days, Bruce's development was not much different from that of Kamar Taj's outstanding novice magicians, but the further down this road, the greater the constraints on Kamar Taj's magicians. If you want to break through from a big magician to a sorcerer at the supreme level, I'm afraid there is no hope for life. But Bruce is different. According to the secrets of magic taught to him by Sal, as long as he does not go astray in his practice, he will hardly encounter any bottlenecks, at least until he breaks through to the level of Ancient One, he will not be subject to any restrictions. In just two months, Sal hardly taught Bruce the substantive secrets of magic. Instead, he allowed Bruce to continuously broaden his horizons, allowing him to truly understand and understand the nature of everything in the universe, and even took Bruce to the stars in the universe, the world of fire and the world of ice, allowing him to come into contact with the origin of completely different worlds. When Bruce fully understands the secrets of magic taught to him by Sal and knows how to understand the true meaning of magic from the macroscopic perspective of the universe and nature, any magic he practices will come naturally and his progress will be far ahead of everyone else's. Bruce's problem has been solved. He is now fully able to control himself and will not lose control like before. If possible, let him stay in Kamar Taj. Maybe one day, he can help. Sal said with a smile, with an unpredictable color in his deep eyes. Regarding Bruce's current situation, the Ancient One also knew that Sal helped Bruce blend the two extreme personalities together, allowing him to become his true self. This kind of control of spiritual power has made the Ancient One extremely frightened. Now, Bruce has shown powerful magical ability, and the Ancient One is also aware of it. According to Kamar Taj's rules, as long as you come here, all knowledge can be shared, so there is no problem in leaving Bruce behind. Lord Thrall, are you planning to leave the Earth? After nodding slightly, Ancient One asked. I plan to wander around the Earth, but don't worry, I have a sense of discretion. There was a bit of a smile on Sal's face. Several infinite gems will appear on the Earth in the future, and it's time for him to make some preparations. No problem, I can trust what Mr. Thrall says. It's just that it's best not to show up in front of the world for the giant starry beast. It can avoid a lot of unnecessary trouble. After getting along with Thrall during this period of time, Ancient One has a certain understanding of Thrall. Thrall is not a person who does not know how to measure. If possible, I want the star beast to stay in Kamar Taj. If Kamar Taj is in need, it can help. 
Thrall had already planned for the starry sky beast. Kamar Taj is a good place, hidden in the foothills of the Himalayas, inaccessible, and the place is spacious enough, and there are free breeders. Ancient One was stunned for a moment, then nodded. It would be a good idea to let the starry sky beast stay in Kamar Taj, at least without appearing in the eyes of the world to avoid causing panic. When leaving, Thrall was going to say hello to Bruce and the star beast. In addition to the necessary magic practice, Bruce spends every day accompanying the starry beasts in the mountains and forests. After being tortured by the starry sky beast for two months, Bruce has now established a deep relationship with the starry sky beast, and one person and one beast often compete together. Bruce has not forgotten those two months of hellish life. After mastering part of the magic, the star beast became his best sparring partner. The appearance of Thrall stopped the fierce fighting between the two. Bruce also returned to normal from the transformation and faced Thrall respectfully. Bruce, keep an eye on this guy and don't let him cause any trouble, do you understand? Thrall nodded slightly. After mastering some of the secrets of magic, Bruce's strength increased dramatically. Facing the starry sky beast, it was no longer the one-sided situation before. Teacher, I understand, Bruce solemnly promised. When you reach the cultivation goal I set, I will arrange things for you to do. Thrall gave a brief explanation, mainly to give the starry sky beast a wake-up call and make the reluctant guy behave, and then he left the park. The United States New York, the bustling city is falling at night, and the whole city is plunged into a luxurious atmosphere. In the busy streets, Sal shuttled freely, looking at the men and women passing by with a look of nostalgia on his face. Once upon a time, he was also one of these hurried figures, rushing for life every day, releasing himself in a crazy carnival in confusion, chasing dreams. But now, he is different. He became a person outside this world, standing at another height and overlooking everyone, but he still felt a little nostalgic and melancholy in his heart. This kind of mentality is not suitable for me. It seems that staying in Kamar Taj for a long time has made me a lot older. I need to find a place to adjust my mentality. Shaking his head slightly, Sal dispelled the chaotic thoughts in his heart. His figure shuttled through the city, and almost no one could see his traces. Soon, Sal stood in front of a magnificent building with bright lights. Hellfire Club Several bright artistic characters exuded a luxurious light in the neon, and many men and women in gorgeous clothes came and went. If you read the news regularly, you may be able to find a few familiar faces among the men and women coming in and out. The people who can enter and leave this club, regardless of whether they are men or women, are either high-ranking officials from various countries or wealthy businessmen. They do not have a high-class status and are not qualified to enter at all. And here is Thrall's goal. Definitely, his purpose in coming to Hellfire Club was different from that of these wealthy officials. With Sal's powerful mental perception, he can clearly perceive the depths of the bottom floor of this building, and there are huge amounts of hidden spaces. There are strong energy fluctuations in this space, and it is obvious that the people in it are not ordinary people. Even the one with the most powerful aura among them has a strength that is vaguely close to the planet level. On the Earth, this is definitely a very powerful existence. Thrall knows a lot about Hellfire Club. This is an organization established by several powerful mutants. On the surface, it seems to be just a luxurious place where celebrities gather, but inside, it has an unimaginable background and inside story. Thrall wants to establish his own power on Earth and prepare for the emergence of several infinite gems in the future. This is undoubtedly the best choice. Sebastian Shaw, the leader of Hellfire, known as the Black King, is a handsome middle-aged man. Although Shao is very old, his special mutant ability allows him to draw strength and resist the erosion of time. In addition, he has been in a high position all year round and has the charm of a mature man. At the moment, Sebastian Shao was sitting on the soft sofa, enjoying expensive wine, with a touch of comfort on his face. He was followed by several core members of the Hellfire mutant team. White Queen Emma, Red Devil, Riptide. These people are all powerful mutants with very special mutant abilities. They have followed Xiao for many years and are considered his die-hard loyalists. Today the club has added a new group of members. They were introduced by Earl Spear. They have close contact with the British royal family. They own 13 international listed companies and control a lot of wealth. In White Queen Emma's hand, there is a member list and a brief introduction. 
Xiao, these people want to see you. They think they have enough status and power, CFCJ, and want to become a core member of the club. What do you think? Looking at Xiao who was in a daze while enjoying the wine, Emma asked. A few ordinary people just joined the club and want to become core members. Who do they think they are? Riptide, who was wearing a crisp suit, spoke with disdain. Those who can sit in this room are all the absolute top leaders of the club. The energy they control is far beyond ordinary people's imagination. Riptide's character is originally a bit extreme, indifferent or even looking down on all ordinary people without ability. In his opinion, the ordinary members of the club are just pigs and dogs they keep in captivity, or slaves, they are just tools to provide them with power, financial resources and intelligence. Many members who have just joined the club have the same idea as them. Just let them calm down for a while. If they can't recognize their position, just issue their membership status. There are as many such people as you want, isn't it? Xiao shook the red wine glass in his hand and spoke casually. To this day, the power of the Hellfire Club is immense, and becoming a member of the Hellfire Club is a supreme honor in the upper class. Those who are inflated with a little status will soon regret it, and no one takes it to heart. Xiao, these are all small things, but there is one thing you need to take seriously. There has been some turmoil in the mutant world recently. According to the information I have, it has a lot to do with a school organization called Xavier Talent Academy. I am worried that they may it will conflict with us. Emma ignored Xiao's decision and instead mentioned another matter, her expression became cautious. In the world of mutants, the Hellfire organization is not the only one. There are other forces and there are other powerful mutants. This is what they really need to pay attention to. After telling this information, the casual look on Xiao's face dissipated a little, and he cheered up slightly. The other people also became more serious. Just when Xiao was about to speak, in front of everyone, a ball of spark-like energy suddenly appeared and suddenly expanded into a portal. A nice place, with powerful mutants, global social elites, unprecedented wealth, power and intelligence, it suits my taste. In the solemn eyes of Xiao and others, a tall and handsome figure slowly stepped forward. The one who walked out of the space portal was naturally Thrall. His powerful perception allowed him to know every move of Xiao and others, and even mutant white Queen Emma, who was best at spiritual power, was completely unaware of it. Locked in by everyone's aura, Sal seemed unaware, with a calm expression on his face, and glanced at several people with admiration. To be able to establish a global elite organization like Hellfire, and to be able to develop to such an extent despite the treacherous and ever-changing world structure, you are qualified to become my subordinates. Sal spoke slowly, with a matter-of-fact tone. In fact, this is indeed the case. For several mutants who are no more than the third-level peak to have the opportunity to follow him, that is definitely the envy of countless people. However, if he said it under such circumstances, I'm afraid no one would buy his account. Be careful, his spiritual power is very strong, I can't sense his spiritual world at all. The White Queen secretly used her mutant ability to investigate Thrall, but there seemed to be nothing in front of her. You can imagine her shock. The first time she reacted, Emma whispered to remind everyone. As a mutant with both mental and physical abilities awakening, Emma's strength is quite unique in the mutant world, and this is the first time she has encountered a situation where she cannot peek. Looking at Thrall who magically appeared in front of her, in her eyes, in addition to shock, there was also a bit of curiosity. Sorry, sir, this is private property. Please get out. If you don't cooperate, I may have to ask someone to leave. Hearing Emma's reminder, Xiao's eyes changed slightly, and after thinking quickly, he did not choose to use force directly. The origin of the other party was unknown, and he appeared magically, revealing many secrets of Hellfire Club, which made him feel a little afraid. Xiao's words were not only meant for Sal, but also as a reminder to his subordinates not to act rashly. The Red Devil has been around for quite a long time, so it is obvious that he has the value of his eyesight. From the moment the opponent appeared until now, his face has not shown any strange color. It is obvious that he does not care about their lock on them at all. Moreover, the Red Devil has never paid any attention to them. He felt an aura that made him shudder, as if the other party was like an abyss that could not be seen to the bottom and could swallow them up at any time. The Red Devil has always believed in his intuition. 
This intuition has allowed him to escape countless life and death crises and survive to this day. Therefore, even if Xiao didn't speak, he would never take action wantonly. However, compared to the mature and cautious red devil, Riptide, the swollen young mutant, was a little impatient. Riptide didn't understand Xiao's words at all. For Sal, the intruder, Riptide's aura suddenly rose, and the power of the storm began to gradually brew. Don't you understand? I told you to get out. You'd better do it, otherwise, I will make you never get out. Riptide holds a high position in the Hellfire Club, one person is inferior to 10,000 people, and he has always been used to being arrogant. Seeing that Thrall was unmoved, he couldn't help scolding him. On the contrary, he hoped that Sal would not leave on his own initiative, so that he could stretch his muscles. Black King, White Queen, Red Devil, and you, if I'm not mistaken, your identity should be just a car, right? The rising storm energy on Riptide did not move Thrall's face. On the contrary, it was the noise of Riptide that made Thrall frown slightly, and his somewhat indifferent eyes fell on Riptide, as if he was looking at a dead man. There's a lot of nonsense. It seems that I can only send your body away. Being looked at by Thrall like this made Riptide very uncomfortable. With a low drink, a swirling storm suddenly formed and rushed towards Thrall, threatening to drag Sal into the storm. The only response to the surge was a cold snort from Sal. The next moment, the extremely terrifying aura of level Godfather suddenly rose from Thrall's body, crushing everything in the room unscrupulously. Quote exclamation mark quote. The storm that was approaching Thrall directly shattered and dissipated under this terrifying momentum. This level of attack seemed like a joke to Thrall. After studying the spiritual power for a long time, Sal controlled the momentum very accurately. Although he released it with all his strength, it was only in this room. As long as he walked out of the door, he would not feel any pressure at all from outside. However, several people in the room fell to the ground one after another, their bodies trembling violently, and they could not even utter a word. At the moment, in the eyes of all the core leaders of Hellfire, including Xiao, the Black King, there was only unbelievable fear and horror. Even though they were worried that Thrall might be powerful, no one would have thought that the moment Thrall showed his aura, they would feel despair like never before. Is this the kind of momentum a person can have? Among the several people, the one who was most frightened was Riptide. His eyes were full of panic and pleading, and his body was shaking violently as he desperately wanted to speak to Sal. For me, a car, whether it has it or not, has no impact at all. Sal stared at Riptide indifferently, and a jet black nebula particle suddenly shot out and penetrated Riptide's eyebrows. The trembling of the body stopped, and Ryu opened his eyes in disbelief. The breath of life had completely disappeared. Judging from his last mouth shape, what he wanted to say should be, let me go, but unfortunately, he never had the chance to speak again. Seeing Thrall kill the arrogant Riptide easily, the fear in the hearts of the core members of the Hellfire Club spread crazily, and everyone's eyes revealed a look of desperate pleading. They all had expectations. Riptide was the only one who really took action against Thrall just now. Now they just hope that the other party is not a cruel and murderous person, otherwise, they will all die today. Feeling the pleading and fear on the faces of several people, Sal smiled slightly, and his tidal momentum instantly subsided, regaining his peaceful look. Everyone, is anyone planning to ask me to leave now? Although there was no mountain-like pressure, the fear in everyone's eyes did not diminish at all. They all lay on the ground, 923, gasping for breath. However, now that Sal has asked, it is obvious that he is not the kind of murderous person. In other words, this devil didn't come to kill them when he first appeared in front of them. Sebastian Shao, if I'm not mistaken, you should be their leader, right? After giving everyone enough time to breathe, Sal spoke and his eyes fell on Sebastian, who was in a panic. Yes, sir, we have absolutely no intention of going against you, and I hope you can forgive us once. After hearing Sal's words, Xiao showed no hesitation at all, and his words were so smooth. Being able to become the leader of Hellfire, he is naturally not as reckless as Riptide. After seeing Thrall's terrifying experience, he was completely cowed. For the ambitious Xiao, only by living can there be hope. With this moment of respite, Xiao had calmed down. He had walked between life and death, and his mind was spinning faster than ever. 
Thrall's sudden appearance and display of superior strength were obviously not without purpose, specifically to show off his power in front of these ants. Just like Dragon, he won't show off his power to ants. The other party casually killed Arrogant Riptide, and Shao could understand that this was to scare the monkeys and sound the alarm for them. Very well, I don't have to kill you, but from now on, what should you call me? Sal casually took a box of exquisite Cuban cigars from the table, a flame appeared on his fingertips, lit the cigarette butt, and looked at the trembling three people indifferently. At this time, whether it was Shao, White Queen or Red Devil, their minds were spinning rapidly. Although Sal no longer had the strong aura he had just now, they knew that as long as they said the wrong thing, the other party would definitely kill them without hesitation. Owner, the first person to react was White Queen Emma, who knelt down in front of Sal and spoke respectfully. White Queen Emma was originally tall and hot, and she dressed quite boldly, wearing only a fur cloak outside a three-point bikini. This half-kneeling posture made the deep career line on her chest face Sal's eyes. As long as Sal leaned forward slightly, he could see the mysterious scenery under the pure white. The corners of Sal's mouth curled up slightly. Immediately, Shao and Red Devil came to their senses at the same time, kneeled on the ground respectfully, and respectfully spoke to Sal, Master. Very good. The three of them are very familiar with each other, and the beauty of White Queen Emma seems to be at your disposal, which makes Sal feel very good. Sal admits that he has always been kind and likes to convince others with his virtue and make others follow him willingly. As for the torrent just now, it was entirely because the other party took the lead. You just need to remember that my name is Sal, and you don't have to worry about anything else. I will arrange for someone to accept the Hellfire Club soon. You just need to obey the arrangement. After regaining the core three people, the entire Hellfire Club has the surname Saw from now on. For the three people kneeling in front of them with respectful faces, Sal would not believe that they really surrendered completely so quickly. With his powerful mental perception, although he cannot peer into people's hearts like the mental ability mutant, he can still sense the other person's general thoughts and emotional changes. But it doesn't matter, he doesn't like everything about the Hellfire Club. He just wants to conquer them just to have someone to help run errands and control the general situation on the earth. And soon, these three people will work for themselves wholeheartedly, and their body, mind, and soul will never be able to betray themselves. Xiao and you, I will give you the first task. I will give you one week to gather all the members of the Hellfire Corps together. Sal's eyes wandered on the White Queen's charming body with interest, but he gave orders to Xiao and the Red Devil. Yes, Master. Seeing Sal's eyes like this, Xiao and Red Devil couldn't understand Sal's intention of letting them leave first. They nodded respectfully and left quickly. Any man would salivate over a beauty like White Queen. Even Xiao has been thinking about her for a long time. However, compared to White Queen's moving body, her ability has a greater effect on Xiao, so Xiao has been patient and did not use force on White Queen. Your mission is to satisfy me. After Xiao and the Red Devil left on, Sal reached out to lift the White Queen's chin and said to the slightly panicked Emma. How could the White Queen not see the faint fire in Thrall's eyes? She often uses her body to make some fuss, but as she is good at mental power, she can easily create an environment so that the targets think they are happy with her, but they have not even touched a hair of hers. However, today, facing the fiery gaze of the man in front of her, Emma could not confuse him with her mental environment. Otherwise, what will happen? In the beautifully decorated room, a slightly painful moan came from White Queen Emma. After Thrall quietly descended on the Hellfire Club, an order came out from the top of the Hellfire Corps, asking all high-level members of the club to gather together in a week. Important action will be taken by the club. After receiving such news, the high-level Hellfire Club members with branches all over the world were a little confused, but they were all prepared and changed their schedules to go to the notified meeting place. Thrall was not idle either. After tasting the White Queen's ecstatic service, he quickly opened the teleportation channel and returned to Sovereign. The last time Sal went back, he briefly told Aisha that he was about to establish his own power on Earth. Therefore, Aisha had already made complete preparations and arrangements. The space portal linking the Hellfire Club expanded, and a special team of Sovereigns carrying a large amount of technology and equipment came out of it. 
some of these people are Sovereign's top scientific researchers, and the rest are staff responsible for modifying the will of organisms at the genetic level. There are many members of the Hellfire Club. For the sake of convenience, Sal not only plans to completely control Xiao, the core executives, but also high-level members located around the world. He also plans to take care of them together. In this way, Thrall will control the huge hidden empire of Hellfire overnight, which will be much more convenient for him to act on Earth in the future. Those who prioritize genetic modification are Xiao, Emma and the Red Devil. In front of Thrall, no matter what the three people's thoughts are, they will make a rational choice whether to live or go down to accompany Riptide. After the transformation at the genetic level was completed, the three people standing in front of Sal, whether in body, mind or soul, had completely surrendered to Sal, there will never be any more betrayal. When White Queen Emma looked at Sal, in addition to awe, there was also a lot of admiration. Just like Aisha before, she found that her body and mind had been completely given to Sal. After completing the genetic modification, Sal briefly gave some instructions on the next related matters. Regarding the genetic modification of the high-level members of the club, full authority was given to the staff from Sovereign and Xiao and the three of them. A week passed quickly. At the appointed time, high-level club members from all over the world gathered together, many with doubts and expectations. Those who can become high-level members of the club are all at the top of the upper class, possessing considerable power and status, are controlling huge amounts of wealth. The reason why they join the Hellfire Club is because of the huge energy of Hellfire that makes them covet. While they provide support to the club, they will also receive feedback from the club. Let them have a smoother career in politics or business. But this time, the club solemnly notified everyone to be present, causing many people to speculate that huge amounts of benefits might fall on them as before, so they put down what they were doing and came in person. However, it was clear that they were going to be disappointed. With Xiao, Emma and others controlling the scene, the genetic transformation and brainwashing work is progressing very quickly. Although there are many high-level members in the club, it has been successfully completed overnight. When all the high-level members of the club leave, outsiders will not see anything unusual in them, but these people are completely different from before. Although these people have not seen Sal in person, one advantage of genetic modification and brainwashing is that they can completely add their image of Sal to their cognition. As soon as they see Sal, these people will naturally understand this. He is the master to whom they must surrender unconditionally. Master, it's all done. In the luxurious room in the core area of the club, Emma knelt respectfully in front of Sal. You did a good job. Also, did you explain all the things I ordered? There was a bit of a smile on Thrall's face, and the significance of taking control of such an empire hidden in the darkness was quite far-reaching. As long as he wants, he can become the richest man in the world overnight and his financial resources can even rival those of ordinary countries. Or, directly manipulate the presidential election, even if he wants to be the president of the United States, he only needs to give orders. Everything is arranged, master. The club will set up an independent intelligence agency according to your request. It will only be responsible to the master and collect all the information the master needs. The White Queen nodded again. After completely conquering the core top management of the club, Thrall had nothing to hide and let them know a lot of things. Even the news about Infinite Gems also let them know that he controlled the club as a huge amount of tool and began to explore and explore on a global scale. Focus on. Well done, Emma. You said that your performance makes me so satisfied, should I give you a reward? Looking at the beauty kneeling in front of her, there was a hint of teasing in Sal's voice, which made Emma's face turn red instantly. E.A. Emma's body trembled slightly, obviously understanding the meaning of Sal's words. After becoming Sal's woman, coupled with the thorough brainwashing at the genetic level, Emma obeyed Sal unconditionally. Under Thrall's unscrupulous gaze, the few clothes on White Queen's body were reduced piece by piece, revealing the beautiful body that could drive people crazy facing Thrall's claw with some shyness. I will reward you well. Boom, Bifrost's energy burst out, and the nine-colored light beam disappeared into the teleportation hall with the four Siths in an instant. Heimdall, you traitor. When the Bifrost light beam disappeared, in the largest palace in Asgard, Loki roared gloomily, with terrible anger and viciousness flashing in his eyes. I, Loki, the god of conspiracy, 
declare in the name of the Lord of Asgard that the gatekeeper Heimdall violated the God King's prohibition and is considered treason. From now on, he will be stripped of his Asgard citizenship. All guards, go to Bifrost and capture him for me. In Loki's extreme anger, his entire face was slightly distorted, and an order spread throughout the entire god's domain along with the trembling of the eternal spear. Maybe even Loki himself didn't notice that when he was slightly out of control, his eyes became extremely scary, with traces of scarlet luster flashing, just like, the frost trolls in the ice world. Do you think that bringing Thor, who has no divine power, back to the divine realm can change everything? You are so naive. None of you can come back. After a long while, a look of determination appeared in Loki's eyes, he picked up the eternal spear and walked quickly towards Odin's underground treasure house. Not long after, Bifrost was turned on again, and a figure covered in metal spikes disappeared into the beam of light. In a short period of time, Bifrost opened two connections to the earth in succession, causing violent space fluctuations, which has attracted the attention of the Asgardian Kamar Taj on earth. The Ancient One's powerful perception allows her to capture the existence that descends to the earth through Bifrost. The four people from the god's realm who came down for the first time were not very powerful, but they were full of anger and obviously came with some purpose. But when he perceived what was coming to the earth for the second time, Ancient One's expression changed slightly. The Destroyer, the ultimate combat tool created by God King Odin using rune magic. Ancient One's eyes became serious. With her status, she knows many secrets of the universe, and this God King's Destroyer Helmet, CFBC, is one of them. Countless years ago, God King Odin controlled extremely powerful rune magic, and his strength reached level God Father. Not only the Nine Realms, but also many planets outside the Nine Realms surrendered under the majesty of Odin's God King. At that time, the God King was in his prime, with strong ambitions and a thirst for power. In order to fight against the more powerful existences in the universe, he spent countless efforts and integrated the essence of rune magic, which made many powerful beings. The god infused it with divine power, and then created the terrifying tool of the destroyer armor. Odin, who put on the destroyer armor, once had the experience of confronting the entire celestial group. Although in the face of the even more invincible power of the celestial group, Odin did not last long before being beaten into a pig head, but the power of this armor is undeniable. Doubt. But today, this piece of armor inexplicably appeared on the earth after the arrival of several people from the god realm, giving Kuyi a bad premonition. Level god father's spiritual power spread, and Ancient One quickly found Thrall's location. A teleportation portal appeared in front of Ancient One, and the other end penetrated the Hellfire Club. In the Hellfire Club at the moment, Xiao and several core senior executives were all there. When they saw the teleportation portal appearing out of thin air, their faces showed respect. When they first met Sal, Sal also walked out of such a portal. In the inertial thinking of several people, this should be caused by Sal. However, when a woman dressed in magician clothes walked out at the juncture, a look of astonishment appeared on several people's faces. Tell Lord Sal that I have something important and need to see him immediately. Looking at these people, Ancient One spoke directly without any nonsense. Ancient One's words shocked several people's hearts. The same transmission channel, and the other party handed over Thrall's name in one breath, it seems that it does have something to do with their master. Please wait. Emma looked at Gu's eyes carefully, said something slightly coldly, and then turned and left. As a woman, Emma has already gone astray. Soon, Thrall, who was informed by Emma, appeared in front of the Ancient One. Ancient One Magician, why do you have time to come to me? Could it be that the Star Beast guy caused trouble in Kamar Taj? Seeing the serious look on Ancient One's face, Thrall's first reaction was this guy, the Starry Sky Behemoth. Apart from this guy, he couldn't think of anything that would make Ancient One go there in person with a serious face. Lord Thrall, the Bifrost of God's Domain was activated twice just now, and the Destroyer Armor of God King Odin also appeared. I think things are a little troublesome. Ancient One did not explain too much and told Thrall what happened directly. Um, Sal was a little surprised when he heard the news. If his impression is correct, the arrival of the Destroyer Armor on Earth should be a plot in Thor. However, the Lord of the Frost Trolls in the Ice World has been killed by himself, can this plot still unfold? 
What Thrall didn't know was that he still underestimated the desire of Loki, the god of conspiracy, to cause trouble. Although the frost troll matter was gone, Loki, who was obsessed with power and could not extricate himself, would not let the Sif Four and the Thor shakes his power in the divine realm. I know, I'll get it done. Sal's mind was spinning and he spoke quickly. He has an alliance with the god King Odin. Now that Odin's destroyer armor appears on Earth, he needs to go and see it to avoid big problems. Boom, Bifrost's energy burst out, and the nine-colored light beam disappeared into the teleportation hall with the four Siths in an instant. Heimdall, you traitor. When the Bifrost light beam disappeared, in the largest palace in Asgard, Loki roared gloomily, with terrible anger and viciousness flashing in his eyes. I, Loki, the god of conspiracy, declare in the name of the lord of Asgard that the gatekeeper Heimdall violated the god king's prohibition and is considered treason. From now on, he will be stripped of his Asgard citizenship. All guards, go to Bifrost and capture him for me. In Loki's extreme anger, his entire face was slightly distorted, and an order spread throughout the entire god's domain along with the trembling of the eternal spear. Maybe even Loki himself didn't notice that when he was slightly out of control, his eyes became extremely scary, with traces of scarlet luster flashing, just like, the frost trolls in the ice world. Do you think that bringing Thor, who has no divine power, back to the divine realm can change everything? You are so naive. None of you can come back. After a while, a look of determination appeared in Loki's eyes, he picked up the eternal spear and walked quickly towards Odin's underground treasure house. Not long after, Bifrost was turned on again, and a figure covered in metal spikes disappeared into the beam of light. In a short period of time, Bifrost opened two connections to the earth in succession, causing violent space fluctuations, which has attracted the attention of the Asgardian Kamar Taj on Earth. The Ancient One's powerful perception allows her to capture the existence that descends to the Earth through Bifrost. The four people from the God's realm who came down for the first time were not very powerful, but they were full of anger and obviously came with some purpose. But when he perceived what was coming to the Earth for the second time, Ancient One's expression changed slightly. The Destroyer, the ultimate combat tool created by God King Odin using rune magic. Ancient One's eyes became serious. With her status, she knows many secrets of the universe, and this God King's destroyer armor is one of them. Countless years ago, the God King Odin controlled extremely powerful rune magic, and his strength reached level Godfather. Not only the Nine Realms, but also many planets outside the Nine Realms surrendered under the majesty of Odin's God King. At that time, the God King was in his prime, with strong ambitions and a thirst for power. In order to fight against the more powerful existences in the universe, he spent countless efforts and integrated the essence of rune magic, which made many powerful beings. The god infused it with divine power, and then created the terrifying tool of the destroyer armor. Odin, who put on the destroyer armor, once had the experience of confronting the entire celestial group. Although in the face of the even more invincible power of the celestial group, Odin did not last long before being beaten into a pig's head, but the power of this armor is undeniable. Doubt. But today, this piece of armor inexplicably appeared on the earth after the arrival of several people from the divine realm, giving the ancient one a bad premonition. Level Godfather's spiritual power spread, and ancient one quickly found Thrall's location. A teleportation portal appeared in front of Ancient One, and the other end penetrated the Hellfire Club. In the Hellfire Club at the moment, Xiao and several core senior executives were all there. When they saw the teleportation portal appearing out of thin air, their faces showed respect. When they first met Sal, Sal also walked out of such a portal. In the inertial thinking of several people, this should be caused by Sal. However, when a woman dressed in magician clothes walked out at the juncture, a look of astonishment appeared on several people's faces. Tell Lord Sal that I have something important and need to see him immediately. Looking at these people, Ancient One spoke directly without any nonsense. Ancient One's words shocked several people's hearts. The same transmission channel, and the other party handed over Thrall's name in one breath, it seems that it does have something to do with their master. Please wait. Emma looked at G.U. S. eyes carefully, said something slightly coldly, and then turned and left. As a woman, Emma has already gone astray. Soon, Thrall, who was informed by Emma, appeared in front of the Ancient One. Ancient One Magician, why do you have time to come to me? 
Could it be that the Star Beast guy caused trouble in Kamar Taj? Seeing the serious look on Ancient One's face, Thrall's first reaction was this guy, the Starry Sky Behemoth. Apart from this guy, he couldn't think of anything that would make Ancient One go there in person with a serious face. Lord Thrall, the Bifrost of God's domain was activated twice just now, and the destroyer armor of God King Odin also appeared. I think things are a little troublesome. Ancient One did not explain too much and told Thrall what happened directly. Um, Sal was a little surprised when he heard the news. If his impression is correct, the arrival of the destroyer armor on Earth should be a plot in Thor. However, the Lord of the Frost Trolls in the Ice World has been killed by himself, can this plot still unfold? What Thrall didn't know was that he still underestimated the desire of Loki, the god of conspiracy, to cause trouble. Although the Frost Troll matter was gone, Loki, who was obsessed with power and could not extricate himself, would not let the Sif Four and the Thor shakes his power in the Divine Realm. I know, I'll get it done. Sal's mind was spinning and he spoke quickly. He has an alliance with the god King Odin. Now that Odin's destroyer armor appears on Earth, he needs to go and see it to avoid big problems. With Thrall's guarantee, Ancient One was relieved. In terms of pure strength, Ancient One believed that she was definitely no match for the son of the creation god. Now that Sal was willing to take full responsibility for this matter, she was naturally relaxed and left quickly. Thrall's powerful perception spread quickly around the world, and the root cause of this incident was quickly found. With his current perception energy, it is still difficult to find an ordinary person among billions of people in detail. However, what Thrall needs to find is not a person, but a destroyer armor that exudes a powerful aura, which is very convenient. After a few breaths, Thrall withdrew his perception and determined that the location of the destroyer armor was in the wasteland where Mjolnir of Thor Zero fell from the sky. Moreover, the destroyer armor at the moment has been heading towards a small town on the edge of the wasteland in accordance with the instructions given by Loki. On the metal body made of Uru alloy, the energy of destruction is constantly flowing. With this huge amount of movement, Thor and others who reunited with old friends and learned the truth of the matter were also prepared. They were all extremely cautious, and they were about to fight the destroyer. You just stay at the club, I'll take care of some things and I'll be back. Thrall said something to the somewhat confused core members of Hellfire. Without any explanation, his body disappeared into the transmission channel. When Thrall's figure reappeared, he had already appeared in Gauchen, the small town where the destroyer armor was located. However, Thrall did not reveal his figure immediately. Instead, he secretly restrained his aura and quietly paid attention to everything happening on the ground. What interests Thrall the most is the destroyer armor crafted by God King Odin himself. You know, although this thing is not an artifact, its powerful amplification effect and independent combat ability have reached a very advanced level. After challenging the Celestials and failing miserably, Odin also sealed up the still well-preserved destroyer armor and let it guard his underground treasure house. But now, Odin has fallen into slumber and the Eternal Spear is controlled by Loki, giving him the ability to command the destroyer armor. After looking around, Sal's eyes showed a bit of surprise, and then he became a little surprised. After his powerful perception penetrated the outer Uru alloy shell of the destroyer's armor, he felt a terrifying power of destruction. This destructive power is rich and pure, and even the nebula particles in Thrall's body are trembling with it. Obviously, this is another ultimate attribute that can improve Thrall. Moreover, he is extremely good at devastating attacks and battles. Gotta get the destroyer armor. This firm idea came to Sal's mind. Originally, Thrall, who was familiar with the plot, had no desire to take action, because he knew that even if the destroyer armor beat Thor to death, at a critical moment, if Mjolnir ran away to protect him, Thor would still regain his divine power. Staged a wave of annihilation counterattack. But things are different now. This armor is of extremely important significance to Thrall, and he must get it. Since he wants to get the armor, Thrall doesn't mind helping Thor and the Sif Quartet when they are at their most desperate. Not only can they get the treasure that Odin spent countless efforts on, but they can also earn Hinami's great favor. However, it is not the time for him to take action yet. On the ground, the Sif Quartet has been fighting together all year round, which gives them a quite tacit understanding. Although the individual strength of several people is not outstanding, 
with some cooperation, the double-headed blade in Sif's hand can still penetrate the destroyer armor. The double-headed blade penetrated the back of the destroyer's armor, penetrated the entire armor, and nailed it firmly to the ground. After a successful wave of cooperation, they decisively took down the terrifying-looking destroyer armor, which made the four Sif smile and completely relax their vigilance. Sal also had a smile on his face, with a touch of mockery. How could it be possible that the super-powerful armor, created by the mighty god king at the pinnacle of level godfather and the master of half of the universe, could be so easy to build after putting countless efforts into it? Thrall's eyesight was amazing, and he could clearly see that although Sif's weapon penetrated the destroyer armor, it actually passed directly through the gaps in the Uru alloy, not to mention affecting the original core of the armor, and even the outer layer of the armor. The original Uru alloy material has not been damaged. There will be a price to pay for underestimating the enemy. Just when the Sif Quartet relaxed and planned to celebrate, the rich fire light rekindled in the destroyer armor, and with the sound of metal vibrations, the entire armor flipped over, and the posture of being pierced by leaning over was changed to that of facing up. Looking up to the sky, a silver-white mask was pointed right at Sif. The mask suddenly opened, and a strong beam of destructive light shot out, sweeping towards Sif. At this moment, the crisis of death suddenly came. As a powerful female war goddess in the divine domain, Sif has experienced countless battles and has developed a keen intuition for danger. Although she underestimated the enemy just now, when the sense of crisis enveloped her body, she still decisively made a reaction, kicked violently, and was destroyed. The armor tumbled down from his body. The beam of destruction that exuded the aura of death passed by Sif's cheek, and several strands of her hair disappeared instantly under the beam of destruction. Sif rolled on the ground in shock. He rolled around in a panic for several times before he realized what he was doing. When he looked at the destroyer armor again, his back was soaked with cold sweat. Sif avoided the life and death blow, but Fandral and others were not so lucky. Another beam of destruction light under the destroyer's armor mask fell around the three of them. The huge amounts of impact caused by the explosion made the three of them scream in pain. It was thrown away and landed heavily in a building in the town. Life or death was unknown. Chapter 111 No, Thor, who had been deprived of his divine power and became immortal, without the ability to fight at all, saw this scene, his eyes were splitting, he let out a loud roar, and rushed desperately into the building filled with smoke and dust. The Sif Quartet are his best friends and partners who have been through life and death countless times. Although he has lost his divine power, he absolutely cannot watch them being killed by the destroyer armor sent by his brother. In the dust and smoke, Sal saw a few groaning people, and then felt slightly relieved. The beam of destruction just now did not hit them directly, allowing them to escape. However, the violent explosion had already caused many injuries to everyone, and they no longer had any fighting capacity. Seeing this, Thor's eyes became resolute, and he rushed out of the ruins and faced the slowly approaching destroyer armor. He knew that he was his brother Loki's target. In midair, Sal, who was hiding, sighed slightly and cursed an idiot in his mind. Strong, only those who are alive are qualified to become strong. Thor's mind is too upright, he has become a waste without divine power, and he actually chooses to face the destroyer armor. The blood is hot, but even the life is gone, so what's the point? Moreover, who can guarantee that after Thor voluntarily sacrifices himself, Loki will let the Sif forego? If you don't experience the severe beating from society, you are indeed not suitable to take charge of Asgard. Thrall, who originally planned to come to the rescue at this time, had to endure it and watched quietly as Thor walked step by step in front of the destroyer armor. Anyway, Thrall knew clearly that Thor would not die no matter what he said. My brother, no matter what I did to make you go astray, no matter what I did to make you do this, I am extremely sorry, but these people are innocent. Facing the destroyer armor with its masks opened layer by layer and constantly brewing destructive energy, Thor spoke resolutely. Puff, after hearing Thor's sensational tirade, Thrall couldn't help himself for a moment. He said what he said to everyone, and Thor still played this trick on the god of conspiracy who had been secretly jealous and hostile to him for many years. Isn't this a fool's errand? Seeing Thor's motionless body, several people who came over for breath let out heart-piercing shouts. But the smile on Thor's face didn't have time to fully bloom. 
The extremely powerful iron fist of the destroyer armor was swung instantly and landed heavily on Thor's head. However, when things developed like this, it was time for him to appear. Loki, have you forgotten that your father and I made an alliance agreement? At the last moment when all connections were disconnected, Thrall's voice rang in Loki's ears. But this time, you tried to use such despicable means to kill your brother and seize something that does not belong to you. Didn't you go a little too far? What can he do when faced with a being who is even more powerful than his father at his peak, and who is also the son of the creation god? You know, if Thrall had not come to the ice world and the plot developed normally, Loki would have decisively killed his real biological father, Lof, the lord of the frost trolls, for the sake of ambition and power. With a slight movement of his body, Sal disappeared in midair instantly. As he spoke, Thrall's aura unfolded unreservedly, all of it crushing towards the destroyer armor. There will be an end between Thor and you. This is your family matter. I hope you can take care of yourself. Hearing this voice, Loki, who was far away in the magnificent palace of Asgard, had a sinister smile on his face, and the same smile froze on his face. Brothers are killing each other, and they are so ruthless. It's really a good show. Thor, at this time, he couldn't say a word. Otherwise, even if he is the son of the God King, Thrall's anger will be absolutely unbearable. Sal shook his head slightly and sighed. And Thrall's gaze, although it was the destroyer armor that was solidified, Loki, who was endless light years away, had a terrifying illusion that he was being stared at by a terrifying prehistoric beast, unable to move. Thrall's voice sounded slowly, and there were not many fluctuations, but every word reached Loki's ears, making Loki feel frightened. When everyone was in grief, Sal's calm voice slowly sounded and reached everyone's ears. Bang, sure enough, the mask of the destroyer's armor, which had been opened layer by layer, slowly closed up, and he was about to turn around and leave. With a confused look on his face, Thor drew a beautiful parabola with a scream, and landed heavily on the mottled street, kicking up a lot of dust. Reckless man, reckless man. Will he be moved by this stupid brother who is not related by blood and keeps suppressing him? For a moment, everyone was a little dull. Even until the connection between him and the destroyer armor was completely broken, he did not dare to make any move. Thrall actually looked down upon Loki, the god of conspiracy. In order to satisfy his ambition and desire for power, he could kill his father and brother with his own hands. It was too much of a choice. Loki could only watch as endless nebula particles poured out of Thrall, completely engulfing the destroyer armor. However, this smile has a hint of teasing and ridicule. I knew it when you first came to Earth quietly, but you didn't cause any big trouble. As for deceiving your idiot brother, it was just a family matter, and I couldn't be bothered to care about it. In front of the destroyer armor, Thrall's figure slowly emerged. Facing this powerful and intimidating armor, Thrall had no expression on his face and was still smiling. What's more, his strength is completely unable to match his endless ambition. What could he say? Having lost all contact with the destroyer's armor, cold sweat dripped down Loki's back as he sat on the tall throne of Asgard. It's really terrible, even from his father, God King Odin, Loki has never felt such a strong oppression. Across the endless distance, Loki felt that Thrall could appear in front of him at any time and kill him, the so-called Lord of God's domain, instantly as long as he was willing. Holding the eternal spear Gunnagur in his hand, Loki still had no confidence that he could resist Thrall's casual blow. However, the meaning revealed in the other party's final words is somewhat intriguing. There will be a break between Thor and you. This is your family matter. I hope you can take care of yourself. Could it be that, the other party will not interfere in future matters? Thinking of this, Loki gradually regained his composure. His character was already ruthless, but he also had deep feelings. After calming down, the pale color on Loki's face gradually faded away, becoming a bit more rosy with excitement. As long as Thrall stops interfering in this matter, now that Odin is sleeping, Thor is seriously injured even if he is not dead, and he is still a waste without divine power. Why should he compete with him for the power of the divine domain? Ha ha, ha 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 ha. The more Loki thought about it, the happier he became. In the end, he couldn't help but laugh heartily, completely forgetting that the destroyer armor that he had just arranged had now changed hands. Loki does not understand the history of the destroyer's return home. 
In his opinion, it is just a powerful war tool, and if it is lost, it is lost. At the moment, in the town where the destroyer armor arrived, the silver white and cold destroyer armor had been completely wrapped by Thrall's nebula particles. Without Loki's control, the armor originally had no strong consciousness and had become completely silent. Feeling the vast destructive power in the armor, Thrall glanced slightly at Thor who was lying on the ground not knowing whether he was alive or dead, and paid no attention to it. This is a unique mithril in the god's domain, which can conduct and expand power and is quite precious. The next moment, the familiar divine power bloomed. Having received the blessings of the gods, this armor naturally contains the sacred power of the gods. When faced with a crisis, this power will be activated autonomously to fight against external invasions. Mjolnir fell from the sky and fell into Thor's hands. Suddenly, the nebula particles were like wild horses running wild, powerful devouring power erupted, and they all rushed towards the destroyer armor. Boom, everyone surrounding Thor looked sad, but no one noticed that some kind of imprisoned power in Thor's body seemed to have broken free and slowly awakened. In the flash of thunder, Mjolnir fell from the sky with majestic power, and landed at the dying Thor on the ground. Without the armor shell and the energy to resist, the destroyer armor is like a beauty with her clothes stripped off, and her true core origin is completely exposed in front of Thrall. Quote dot 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 quote. Get out of the way. It is definitely the power of destruction. Waves of golden red destructive power, linked by nebula particles, were all poured into Sal's body, causing Sal to gradually reveal a bit of will to destroy. After being deprived of his divine power, he was just a mortal. He withstood a powerful blow from the destroyer's armor. If he didn't die immediately, it was considered nebula. The aura of destruction was revealed, alarming Sif and others who were grieving around Thor, staring at Thrall with shocked eyes. However, under Thrall's devouring, Uru alloy only lasted a few breaths before being completely devoured. The nebula particles that were being devoured happily rushed towards the huge energy containing the will of destruction and began to enjoy the taste. The nebula particles adhere closely to the surface of the destroyer's armor like water flow, and Thrall can more clearly perceive the vast power in this armor. This is a huge force condensed to the extreme. The will of destruction is brewing in it, exuding a shocking aura. Definitely, this so-called, God, is only for the gods of Earth and Asgard. After losing the protection, the next step is the Uru alloy, which is the original material of the armor. From the magic power of these runes, Thrall felt the aura of many gods. The silvery white and cold destroyer armor seemed to feel threatened. On the special Uru alloy on the armor's surface, there were magic lines emerging from it, flashing with the light of different runes. These strange runes of light contain a lot of powerful resistance, ready to resolutely resist the engulfment of the nebula particles. The ultimate attribute of destructive power. A piece of armor that has no one to control and inject power into it. This meager amount of power is nothing more than a dying struggle. Before a few people could figure out the key, another strong roar from the sky had completely attracted everyone's attention. Without suppressing the eager trembling of the nebula particles, Thrall controlled the nebula particles and began to devour them. However, in Sal's eyes, this is a luxurious meal. At the moment, Thor was surrounded by everyone, his life was sluggish, and he might die completely at any time. If this ball of terrifying energy exploded, the power would probably be enough to destroy a fixed star. However, they were quite puzzled as to why this kind of aura appeared on the body of Thrall, the Divine Alliance. It was this kind of aura that almost wiped out their group just now. This was still fresh in the memory of several people. Feeling the strong resistance, Sal raised the corners of his mouth, revealing a sarcastic smile. Facing the invasion of extreme attribute devouring, these forces of resistance did not persist for long before they were quickly converted into energy in the nebula particles and completely disappeared without a trace. Sif reacted the fastest, shouted lowly, and immediately pulled everyone back. The will of destruction was continuously absorbed by Thrall, and another strange light point gradually appeared among the nebula particles. This light spot is bright golden red, similar to the beam of destruction activated by the destroyer armor. The devouring process is very fast, and among the nebula particles, the light spots representing destruction are also increasing. In the process of devouring, Thrall also continued to realize the true meaning of destruction. Destruction lies in complete destruction and annihilation. 
This is a pure and extreme force, like a double-edged sword. If it is not controlled well, even the person who controls it will be counterattacked. However, Sal was quite excited. With his special inheritance and ability, he can accommodate any extreme attribute energy in the universe. After devouring enough, he can completely control it. As Thrall's understanding of the true meaning of destruction deepened, he also kept thinking that destruction had something in common with the annihilation attribute he controlled. Both extreme attributes are extremely powerful, but the destruction is more explosive, just like a raging fire, consisting of brutal destruction. Compared with destruction, annihilation has fewer explosions, but is more durable. If these two terrifying extreme attributes can be integrated together and promote each other, the attack launch will definitely reach the peak of power. With the strength reaching level Godfather, Thrall can devour energy extremely quickly. When he devours it quickly, Thrall's aura also increases. The pressure of the aura that was naturally revealed, although it was not released deliberately, it was just revealed naturally, but it also made everyone around him feel suffocated. When the nebula particles completely digested all the energy in the destroyer's armor and reflowed into Thrall's body, the thunderous light around Thrall began to gradually converge. In Mjolnir, the seal set by Odin can be lifted at a critical moment, allowing Thor to regain his divine power. At the moment, it is obvious that Mjolnir once again recognized Thor as his master, and even saved the dying Thor's life. From a mortal to Thor, Thor's injuries have been completely healed. He is wearing a cool armor, with a fluttering cape, and his appearance is quite good. However, before Thor had time to fall into the joy of regaining his divine power, he felt himself being stared at by a pair of eyes full of destruction, causing his breath to tighten tightly. Thor, you should know what happened just now, right? The aura on Thrall's body was also gradually converging, and the trace of destruction released unconsciously in his eyes quietly disappeared. He looked at Thor calmly with a slight smile on his face. Lord Sal, I know everything. Thank you for saving me and everyone just now. Thor nodded, expressing his gratitude to Thrall with the etiquette of the Divine Realm. Sif and others also reacted. Thor's resurrection from the dead surprised them. At the same time, they were full of gratitude to Thrall and saluted one after another. Okay, Odin and I have an alliance agreement. When there is trouble in the gods' domain, I will take action appropriately. However, Thor, you still need to solve the problem between you and your little brother. Thrall, who had gained new ultimate attributes and improved in strength, was in a good mood and spoke a few more words to everyone. Lord Thrall, I understand. Now that my father has fallen into Odin's sleep, and there is chaos in the divine realm, it is my unshirkable responsibility to end all this I will come back to thank you if I have the opportunity. Thor, CFBD, also understands that the situation is serious. He is a little anxious when he thinks of the chaos in the god's realm, so he must prepare to return to the god's realm immediately and make good arrangements for his unsatisfactory little brother. However, after calling Heimdall for a long time, several people did not see Bifrost's light coming, which made several people's faces darken. Let me do it. Seeing this, Sal, who was about to leave, spoke. With a casual move, the majestic energy merged into the space magic array at his fingertips, and a space portal suddenly opened. From the other end of the space portal, the aura of the Divine Realm came out that made Thor feel that he had not seen it for a long time. Through the teleportation portal, Asgard was already far away. After witnessing Sal's move, several people were even more shocked. Looking at Sal, there was nothing but awe in their eyes. After saluting again, Thor said goodbye to his little girlfriend on Earth, and then took the lead and led everyone back to the Divine Realm. It was time to settle the score between him and Loki. Thor and others returned to God's domain, and the space portal dissipated without Thrall's power to support it. Thrall glanced at Thor's acquaintances on Earth indifferently, without much intention of talking, and then disappeared into the wasteland. However, there were many agents in black suits secretly witnessing this scene. After seeing almost everyone leaving, they slowly recovered from the shock. Hello, Dr. Eric Selvig. My name is Phil Coulson, a staff member of the Strategic Homeland Defense Attack and Logistics Agency. I believe you have all seen what just happened. I would like to ask you to answer some questions. Selvig, Jane Foster and her assistant Daisy were about to leave when they were stopped by these agents in black suits. 
Soon after, a large number of relevant personnel came to the town and began to resettle and blockade the people. Phil Coulson, who had collected a lot of important intelligence, quickly submitted a top-secret file to S.H.I.E.L.D. Combining the intelligence and image data collected, Thrall is exactly the same as the one who came to the Earth more than a year ago, causing a major earthquake in S.H.I.E.L.D. Thrall, who had gained new extreme attributes and was in a good mood, had no idea how huge amounts of waves his appearance would cause. After returning to God's realm, Thor and Loki started a battle. In the end, Loki was defeated by Rage's Thor and Bifrost was defeated. Then, King Odin also woke up from his slumber. When he learned everything that happened after his slumber, he could only sigh slightly. After hearing Thor talk about Thrall appearing and saving them in a critical moment, Odin's face showed a look of satisfaction, and he was even more grateful for his decision to form an alliance with Thrall. However, when Thor spoke with admiration about Thrall showing his divine power and arranging Loki to come to Earth to snipe their destroyer armor and destroy it, Odin was stunned for a moment and almost spit out a mouthful of old blood. Odin, who was sitting on the throne, felt like the world was spinning, and he had the urge to fall into Odin's sleep again. What the hell is this? In order to forge the destroyer armor, Odin spent so much effort that it is unimaginable to outsiders. The casting of a pair of armor not only emptied out Odin's years of accumulation and allowed many gods to bless the armor, but also caused Odin to bleed heavily. This was originally a treasure he used to pass on and protect the entire Asgard. He wanted to pass it on from generation to generation and protect the peace of the entire Asgard. But now, Thor, the chaos in the Nine Realms was caused by your brother. Now that he has fallen into Bifrost, you must clean up this mess. After you calm down the chaos in the Nine Realms, I will consider holding a coronation for the replacement of the throne again. Odin's voice was full of anger, making Thor confused. This was fine just now, so why did you fall out so quickly? However, after experiencing this exile, Thor has matured a lot. He knows what kind of responsibilities and burdens he needs to bear when he is called the Lord of Asgard, and he nodded and agreed to Odin's request. Father, I will repair all the damage Loki has caused. With Thor's solemn assurance, he gave up his seat and looked a little better. In the following time, Thor rarely appeared in Asgard. He had to travel to several other chaotic worlds every day, suppressing rebellions and stabilizing the order of the Nine Realms at any time. However, the Earth, as Midgard of the Nine Realms, has maintained sufficient peace for the time being. There are no major events happening for the time being, and Sal is happy and comfortable. In addition to the necessary training every day, he also pays attention to the development of Hellfire Club. For Thrall, to do anything, you have to be the strongest. Although Hellfire Club has extremely powerful energy, there is still a lot of gap between it and Thrall's requirements. After all, Sal's origin determines the height at which he views things. In just one or two months, Hellfire's intelligence network expanded and developed crazily without being exposed. Hellfire, originally, is also changing towards new heights. Just looking at the resources controlled by Hellfire, they have increased nearly ten times compared to when Thrall first arrived. As the reputation of Hellfire in the Dark World is at its peak, many well-connected international elites can't wait to join it. Being able to join such an organization is absolutely beneficial to these upper-class elites. However, what they don't know is that as long as they become a high-level member of the club, they will undergo a special, baptism, of the club. As long as the club members who have experienced, baptism, mention this matter, their faces will show a pious and sacred expression. This is naturally due to the powerful genetic modification technology Thrall brought from Sovereign. After all the high-level members of the club were brainwashed at the genetic level, Sal did not treat them badly. Sovereign has always had a lot of black technology in the research of life genes. Coupled with the continuous absorption of civilization inherited from the ancient Goliath Empire, this area has developed to its current peak. It only requires simple research on the life races in the universe. Through sampling research, we can systematically summarize and understand their genes. Moreover, through powerful technology, Sovereign can even change the genetic combination of living things. For example, adding or awakening the recessive X gene. For ordinary people, the X gene determines that they can have extraordinary mutant abilities. 
Perhaps, in the entire society, mutants do not have much status, and may even be suppressed, but for these social elites with wealth and status, mutant ability can make them stronger, climb higher, and go further. As for society's discrimination against mutant, it's completely nonsense. Master, another medium-sized, baptism, was conducted today. A total of new high-level members joined the club. Among them, ten of them performed outstandingly and were rewarded with the Awakening's gene. The high priest of Sovereign in a noble golden robe stood in front of Thrall and reported to Thrall. This is what Thrall promised her before. When Thrall established his power on the earth, he would allow her to go to the earth and follow him. After arriving on earth, Aisha devoted herself to doing things for Sal. The high priest who has always been in a high position to manage a country asked her to deal with a hellfire club, and she was completely comfortable. Moreover, Aisha's arrival also has special meaning for Sal. This means that he has two maids, Emma and Ayesa, by his side. At his request, although both of them were a little shy, they soon allowed Sal to enjoy the joy of flying. Well, Ayesa, the recent development of the club can be slowed down a bit. Remember, my purpose is not to rule this planet and establish this power, it is just for convenience. Do you understand? If it develops according to the direction planned by Ayesa, I am afraid that in just one or two years, the high-level members of the club will be all over the top of all countries in the world. In that case, Thrall would become the absolute uncrowned king. I understand, Master. Ayesa realized that she was used to being in a high position and controlling everyone. By the way, ask Emma to come over. She hasn't reported to work for a while. Sal's eyes moved, showing some interesting meaning. After Ayesa came to Earth to follow Thrall, Thrall gave full power to Ayesa and several of her men regarding the development of Hellfire Club. Emma is in charge of the department that collects useful intelligence for Sal. The so-called reporting work can be understood in two ways. The first is a simple literal understanding, asking Emma to come over and report on the relevant intelligence recently collected. As for the second type, it is very difficult for people to think about. Emma couldn't guess what Sal was thinking for a while, but her face turned red and she agreed and quickly contacted Emma. Thrall's order is an edict in Hellfire. Soon, Emma and Esir were standing in front of Thrall. Of these two women, Ayesa is mature and tall, wearing a golden robe, outlining perfect curves, with inherent arrogance and nobility, especially the golden body, which makes people think. And Emma is another kind of beauty, with a thrilling charm. In addition to the three-point style, she still has the snow-white fur cloak, showing most of her skin, as white as ivory, and her golden waves are spread out. Let her be like an exquisite dessert on the dining table, so beautiful. After receiving the news from Ayesa, Emma rushed over anxiously, her face a little red. She didn't know whether it was because she left in a hurry or because she thought of something that caused her body to react. Master, do you want me to come over and report on my work? Seeing Sal's interested eyes, Emma's face turned red even more, and she lowered her head shyly and asked. Yes, tell me, apart from the Tesseract from S.H.I.E.L.D., is there any news recently? Sal's unscrupulous eyes wandered over the two women and he asked casually. After Hellfire developed and expanded, S.H.I.E.L.D. also attracted several members. Although they are not absolute high-level members in S.H.I.E.L.D., they are enough to investigate the cobweb traces related to Tesseract. At the same time, Thrall also asked the Hellfire Intelligence Department to explore materials with powerful energy fluctuations around the world. For him, this type of thing can improve a certain strength as long as the energy is abundant enough. Thrall is different from Galactus. He is not driven by Galactus's powerful and uncontrollable desire to devour. His choice of food is very precise, and some bits and pieces are simply difficult to detect by Thrall. Ah, oh, good master. Here is the relevant information that has been collected recently. Each piece has been checked in detail. You can see for yourself whether there is anything you need. With her face red and her thoughts a little confused, Emma was stunned for a moment before she realized what was happening. She quickly entered the role and sent a detailed piece of information to the computer in front of Sal through Sovereign's technology. This kind of thing is more convenient and reliable than paper information, and it far exceeds the existing technology on Earth. After the initial shock, Hellfire's senior executives have gradually accepted it. Energy Crystal, powerful mineral deposits on the ocean floor. 
Sal's eyes quickly browsed the holographic projection screen, basically switching directly after viewing it. After a while, Sal still couldn't find anything that suited his taste. This is not to blame Thrall for being picky, it's just that the resources on Earth are too poor and marginalized compared to the vast universe. All the information was quickly read by Sal. Sal shook his head slightly, obviously not finding what he wanted. Emma, the intelligence work is not in place yet. It seems that I should let you report properly. And Ayesa, you should also study with Emma. Looking away from the holographic projection, Sal looked at the two women with a smirk, making both of them a little flustered. The two of them were with Sal, which really made both women feel a little restrained. Master, please wait a moment, there is another piece of information. Facing Sal's blazing gaze, Emma spoke urgently in desperation. Death struggle, Emma, if I'm still not satisfied, you know the consequences. Sal smiled slightly, with a strong hint that made Emma's legs almost weak. After a while, there was a small metal box on Sal's desk, which was obviously the information Emma mentioned. What's this? Sal did not open the box or explore his own perception. This unknown thing made him more interested. Master, this is a special metal purchased from the black market. It is quite rare in the world. According to measurements, it should contain some special energy. However, current technology cannot fully interpret it. Seeing Sal's interest, Emma quickly explained. With a click sound, Emma slowly opened the box, revealing a section of shaped silver white metal. What was placed in the box was a hammer. In other words, a hammer without a handle. Wakanda vibranium. Seeing this hammer without a handle, Thrall felt that it looked familiar, and he realized it after thinking about it for a while. This is a weapon made from Wakanda vibranium. Yes, master, this thing should be helpful to you, right? Emma's expectant eyes fell on Sal, looking a little pitiful. Some energy, but not much. It's still far from my goal, Emma. Sal chuckled lightly and was about to extend his Lucian claws to the two girls with red faces. However, a slight vibration on his wrist made Sal listen. This shock comes from the ancient civilization inheritance Goliath starbound to Thrall. Thrall was a little confused. Although this thing was a powerful super intelligence, after recognizing its master, there was basically no movement except when he thought of it. What does the violent vibration mean at this time? However, the violent vibrations of the Goliath star also made Thrall temporarily suppress the flames in his heart, intending to figure out the situation first. With a casual move, the Goliath star suddenly emerged from Thrall's hand, facing Thrall in the form of a human holographic image. Owner, the soft-spoken girl with a slight electronic sound spoke respectfully, and the humanoid influence also bowed slightly to Sal. What happened? Sal asked with some confusion. Master, the item in front of you is one of the materials for the development of science and technology in the past empire. If it can be obtained, it can make the technology of your forces take off quickly. What? Thrall's attention has been completely diverted by Goliath Star's few words, and his powerful spiritual power has also been unfolded, and he begins to perceive the small Wakanda vibranium in front of him. A huge amount of storm, quietly brewing. It seems that by some coincidence, after the Goliath Empire fell apart, part of the vibranium wandered into the universe and eventually became a meteorite, landing on the land of Wakanda. Emma, who had escaped Sal's clutches, smiled coquettishly, twisted her seductive body, and left quickly. Emma would never question Sal's instructions. She was in charge of the intelligence department and was worried that Sal did not know enough about various countries on the Earth, so she gave a warning. There is only a tiny amount of Wakanda vibranium currently circulating around the world, and it is expensive, at least a hundred times more than diamonds. Although he controls the Hellfire, spending a lot of energy, material and manpower to purchase and collect it is not only time-consuming and labor-intensive, but also far away. Far from meeting the requirements. In this case, why not serve Wakanda in one pot? Thrall smiled slightly, but did not blame Emma. For countless years in Wakanda, except for a few outsiders, no one else knew anything about the country's affairs. Emma, do as I say. Once you truly see Wakanda's power, you will understand why I asked you to do such a thing. Vibranium is a must-get. Understood, master, I will do it now, but as far as I know, Wakanda Vibranium's original reserves are quite rare, and all were stolen many years ago, and most of them are now on the black market. 
It seems that you have not tuned Wakanda vibranium. Not how many tons, but how many mountains they piled up. After making the decision, Sal gave instructions to Emma. Goliath Star's words were shocking, making Thrall and the two girls who didn't know what he was talking about stunned. Goliath Star concluded, causing a flash of light in Thrall's eyes. Goliath Star had already introduced the function of Wakanda Vibranium in just a few words, making Thrall and the two women aware of it. Not to mention her, even Thrall was deeply surprised. He didn't expect that the small Wakanda Vibranium on the Earth was actually connected to the once glorious Goliath Empire. After some simple contemplation, Sal already had a rough plan. For many years, Wakanda has been closed to the outside world and has not had much contact with the outside world. It even refused to accept aid to Africa. This created the illusion of a third world country in the eyes of outsiders. Master, if you have enough of this material, the civilization you build will be able to improve rapidly within a period of time, and technology will continue to make breakthroughs. If such huge amounts of reserves could be controlled, wouldn't Sovereign, who is still in the early stages of the Golian civilization system, really have another crazy and rapid takeoff, as the Goliath star said. If Thrall remembers correctly, Wakanda's real vibranium reserves have reached an astonishing level, and should at least be measured in mountains. He knows a lot more about Wakanda vibranium than Emma. It was this thing that landed on the land of Wakanda countless years ago that allowed Wakanda to continue to develop and become the hidden peak power in the world, especially in terms of technology. It beats many of its peers in the world. As you command, my master. What Thrall didn't expect was that Wakanda Vibranium was so inextricably linked to the ancient Goliath Empire. Under Thrall's command, Hellfire's huge energy was activated, truly demonstrating its extremely powerful power and intelligence network. Thinking of this, a bright light flashed in Sal's eyes, and he had already made a decision. Explain it to me in detail. Otherwise, Isar's extremely powerful body would have been struggling for several days. As the current manager of Sovereign, High Priest Ayesa deeply knows how explosive the information spoken by the Star of Goliath is. With the Wakanda Vibranium incident, Thrall finally found some motivation to move around, which temporarily allowed Emma and Ayesa to escape. Yes, my master, the piece of metal in front of you is called Wakanda Vibranium in the society you are in now, but to the Goliath Empire, it is not a metal, but Goliath technology. There are a lot of synthesis materials in the development process. This material contains majestic energy and can almost be called a universal material. It can be seen everywhere in the middle and late stages of the Goliath civilization. Emma, check if there are any high-level members about Wakanda in the club. If there are, call them over immediately. In addition, I need all the information about Wakanda, the more detailed the better. That is to say, Ayesa and Emma have special physiques that can withstand. Master, this is the only Wakanda member with high-level membership in the club, named Jin Kyla. A few days later, Emma showed up in Sal's office with a black man. Owner, when he saw Sal, the black man knelt down and looked at Sal with a respectful and pious expression. He wanted to lie down and lick Sal's feet. After being brainwashed at the genetic level, Sal's image has become deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. These brainwashed high-level members can recognize him as soon as they see him. Sal was a little surprised when he saw Jin Jala. He originally asked Emma to collect information about Wakanda, but he didn't expect much. Unexpectedly, someone from Wakanda actually became a high-level member of the club. In this way, the information that can be obtained is much richer. Jin Kila, please get up and tell me about your country in detail. Sal's voice was calm and he spoke slowly. Yes, master, under the king of Wakanda, five tribes are ruled respectively, the trading tribe, the border tribe, the river tribe, the mine tribe and the white ape tribe. In addition to the white ape tribe, the other four tribes are responsible for Wakanda's external affairs. Trade, guarding, internal affairs and resources, I am a member of the trading tribe. For centuries, Wakanda's technological development has relied entirely on the protection of the leopard goddess and vibranium. With the mining and research and development of vibranium, Wakanda has become the most technologically powerful country in the world, rivaling any other country in the world. Confrontation. The master wants to know the news about Wakanda vibranium. As a member of the trading tribe, my knowledge is very limited. 
The mining tribe is responsible for the mining of vibranium, but it is always in the hands of the royal family. The other tribes are not aware of the details. It's very clear, but I can guarantee that the reserves of vibranium are quite huge and should be able to satisfy the owner. Jin Kyla looked at Sal feverishly. After the genetic brainwashing, everything in his heart was no longer a secret, and everything was revealed. Although she had heard it once, Emma was still a little shocked when Jin Gala said it again. Who would want a remote and poor African tribe to hide so many secrets that could shock the entire world? After hearing Jin Jala's story, Thrall's face showed a look of satisfaction. These things are the true situation of Wakanda. However, a word in Jin Gao's rubbish made Sal a little confused. Leopard Goddess Most African countries have beliefs and worship of gods, and they believe that these gods will protect them. Thrall knew that the mythical gods in the legend really existed. They are collectively called Earth Gods. However, even if they are called gods, there is no unified standard for the power of these Earth Gods. Some Earth Gods are powerful, such as the Supreme God Zeus in Greek mythology. According to Sal's speculation, if Zeus really exists, his strength should be only second to God King Odin, Tien Ubiji or all-powerful at level God Father. But this leopard goddess was hard for him to guess. Tell me about your leopard goddess. Thrall spoke. The panther goddess is the patron saint of our Wakanda. She is called the Black Panther Goddess Buster. In ancient books, many miracles performed by the Black Panther Goddess are recorded. According to ancient rumors, the incarnation of the Black Panther Goddess will be called the wife of each generation of Wakanda Black Panther warriors. Although Wakanda believes in the Black Panther Goddess, it has been many years since she heard any news about the Black Panther Goddess. It is probably just a legend. Jin Kyla said with some uncertainty. He is just one of the people in charge of the external affairs of the trading tribe, and has no access to the real core of Wakanda, so he is ambiguous about many things, and what he says is specious. I understand, Jin Jala, you did a good job, but there is one last question, what is Wakanda's belief in the Black Panther Goddess? In other words, if the Black Goddess appears, will Wakanda obey her oracle? After listening to Jin Kyla's story, Sal already had a vague plan in mind and asked Jin Kayla. That is definitely my master. Wakanda has believed in the Black Panther Goddess for countless years. It is the Black Panther Goddess who has guided us on the path of power. We must obey every one of her divine realms. After receiving Sal's affirmation, the enthusiasm on Jin Jala's face turned into an extremely excited expression. I'm afraid even the praise from the Black Goddess would not make him show such an expression. Emma, he doesn't have the Awakening's gene yet, you know what I mean, go ahead. Sal nodded, everything understood. For Jin Jala who contributed important information, Sal did not mind giving him a little benefit. Thank you, master, thank you, master. Thrall's words moved Jin Kyla to tears, saying that the Awakening's gene was a huge gift to him. Soon, Emma left with Jin Kyla, leaving only Sal himself in the magnificent office. Thrall's fingers were tapping the table rhythmically, and his powerful spiritual power had extended infinitely, spanning continents and spreading towards Wakanda in Africa. Before proceeding with the plan, the first thing he needs to determine is whether the black bag goddess Wakanda believes in really exists. In other words, after a long time, is this earth god still alive? You know, even though they are called gods, it is impossible to have infinite life. If the earth god has died, Thrall will have to find another way to communicate with Wakanda. As Sal's powerful mental perception expanded, he soon arrived in the magical region of Africa. In this land, Thrall felt a lot of special auras. Although it was a bit messy, all of these auras contained a faint fluctuation of divine power. It seems that the beliefs and nature worship of many tribes in Africa have indeed created many earth gods. Perceiving such a breath, Sal showed a strange smile on his face. Thrall has his own speculation about the birth of the Earth God. Perhaps it is because the power formed by the fanatical belief and worship of countless people over a long period of time was finally transformed into divine power, igniting the divine fire of the gods they worshipped, and the gods were born. However, although these so-called gods ignited the divine fire and possessed divine power, in Thrall's perception, the most powerful aura was only between planet-level and sub-level abilities. The mental investigation released by Thrall was not hidden. When Thrall's perception was filled, 
there were huge amounts of fear in several auras containing faint fluctuations of divine power. Level Godfather's mental fluctuations, in the eyes of these so-called earth gods, are the power that only true god kings have. Facing such power, the only thing they could do was to tremble, showing a spiritual wave of awe and surrender. Thrall smiled lightly and ignored these breaths. On the vast land of Africa, there is a land hidden by huge amounts of technological barriers. In it, there is also an aura of divine power fluctuations. Obviously, this is the Black Panther goddess Buster mentioned by Jin Kyla. At the moment, in an ancient altar in the deepest part of the palace where the royal family of Wakanda lived, a strong black female leopard lay limp on the ground, trembling all over, with a look of horror in her big eyes. This is the Black Panther goddess Buster, or her embodied god body. The existence of the Black Panther goddess is only known to the oldest priests of each generation in Wakanda. If the priest elders saw the Black Panther goddess trembling with fear, they would probably faint from fear. Wakanda's god, Buster, a voice like the power of heaven suddenly sounded in the head of the vigorous female leopard lying on the ground. This voice echoed with unique fluctuations of mental power, exuding an unparalleled and powerful momentum, making the Black Panther goddess feel like she could not bear the pressure. CFBH. Although she has experienced the worship of the people of Wakanda for countless generations and successfully ignited the divine fire, her true strength is only the pinnacle of planet level. Sir, how can I become a god in front of you? You can just call me Buster. In awe and horror, the Black Panther goddess spoke cautiously, keeping her posture very low. From the spiritual power that descended from the opponent, the Black Panther goddess perceived a lot of things. What shocked her the most was the supreme fluctuation of divine power in this spiritual aura, which completely surpassed all the earth gods she had ever seen. They are both divine powers, but their levels are completely different. In addition, this breath also contained an aura that made her feel even more unbearable. Facing this kind of aura, the spirit of the Black Panther goddess has a terrible illusion that it will be destroyed at any time. My name is Sal Garin, the son of the universe's creator god, Planet Devourer. My true form will come to Wakanda in person in a week and lead Wakanda to a higher peak. Be prepared. Just a breath of spiritual energy made the Black Panther goddess become like this. Sal didn't mean to talk nonsense. After explaining his purpose, Buster's almost unbearable spiritual power disappeared directly. On the solemn ancient altar, only the Black Panther body of the Black Panther goddess was lying on the ground, completely sluggish. What is the creator god of the universe? As Buster, who lit the divine fire, she naturally understands. That is the true supreme master of this universe. As the earth god, the faith she accepts is only millions of people in one country. The creator god of the universe is the existence that truly transcends the entire universe. No wonder the other party's mere non-aggressive spiritual power would give her such a terrifying feeling. Buster fell into a sluggish state and did not move for a long time. After a long time, he slowly accepted what had just happened and his brain started to work. The other party just said that the real body will arrive in a few days and will lead Wakanda to a higher peak. Doesn't that mean that the other party wants to rule this country? This made Buster even more confused. The majestic son of the creation god, not to mention ruling an inconspicuous small country on a planet on the edge of the universe, even countless planets and even large star fields are within easy reach for him. How could you care about a small place like Wakanda? However, after Buster reacted, there was a hint of excitement in his eyes that could not be concealed. This is an unimaginably huge opportunity for Wakanda and her. What kind of status will she have by following the son of the creator god? Ouch. The prostrate black leopard female suddenly stood up, and a very penetrating sound spread from the altar, allowing the entire area where Wakanda's royal family was located to hear clearly. When this voice sounded, the people in the royal area of Wakanda were all stunned and felt a throbbing in their hearts. It's the Black Panther Goddess. It's the Black Panther Goddess. The first person to react was Zhu Li, the high priest of Wakanda of this generation, the son of Badu. After coming back to his senses, Zuli ignored everyone's shock and knelt down devoutly towards the altar. Seeing this, everyone quickly knelt down devoutly, with excitement on their faces. Does the voice of the Black Panther goddess, who has not shown any miracles for countless years, indicate that there will be huge amounts of changes in Wakanda? 
Ouch! A low roar of Black Panther that only the High Priest could understand echoed in Zhu Li's mind. Obey the Black Panther Goddess Oracle. Zhu Li looked excited and spoke loudly. Immediately, in the eyes of everyone, Zhu Li stood up slowly and spoke loudly and solemnly, inform all the royal family members and tribal leaders in Wakanda that after entering the altar in three days, the Black Panther Goddess will appear in person. Miracle reappears. For Wakanda, this is an earth-shattering thing. This time, the voice of the Black Panther Goddess is not only heard by a handful of people, but also summons the royal family of Wakanda and a tribal leader. The news quickly spread throughout the entire country of Wakanda, causing a huge uproar for a while intending to intensify. The firm belief in the gods, after the miracles were shown, made everyone fall into a frenzy, believing that the Black Pack Goddess allowed the leaders to meet her because of their countless years of devout service. Among the people, there are already rumors claiming that the Black Panther Goddess will send down the Oracle to guide Walk into glory. For a time, the whole country was celebrating, and the streets and alleys were filled with believers carrying tributes to the goddess Black Panther in various temples. Three days passed by in a flash. The Wakanda royal family and the leaders of several major tribes had made preparations early and had been waiting for a long time with the most precious tributes from their respective tribes. Even the leader of the White Ape tribe, who has never participated in any Wakanda national affairs and has lived independently on the top of the snow-capped mountains for several centuries, appeared with a look of enthusiasm and excitement. At the moment when he was about to meet the gods, even though there was some gap between the White Ape tribe and the Orthodox royal family of Wakanda, the leader of the White Ape was quite restrained and did not cause any conflicts. Goddess Black Panther has given permission for Yinjia to enter the altar with me. As the intermediary who communicates with the gods, High Priest Zuli has been the busiest these days and has prepared the most solemn and solemn ceremony. Amid the expectations of countless people, the Wakanda royal family and the leaders of the five major tribes entered the ancient altar devoutly. This altar has existed for thousands of years. Under the protection of the Black Panther Goddess, it has never been damaged in any way for countless years. Even though technology in Wakanda today is at the forefront of all countries on earth, the altar still retains the oldest and most traditional style without any trace of technology. The altar occupies a very large area. It is not so much an altar as it is a vast primitive jungle. As part of the altar, there are ten strange stone forests in the core area of the Chongyu jungle. After lighting the divine fire, Black Panther Goddess Buster has been living in this jungle, accepting Wakanda's faith and worship. She will only appear when Wakanda faces an important turning point or a huge crisis. The Black Panther Goddess performs miracles and is said to have promulgated the Oracle. I wonder what kind of leap this will bring to Wakanda. I always thought that the Black Panther Goddess I believed in was just a legend. I didn't expect that the god really existed. Oh my god, I really want to see it in person. Don't think about it, you can't blaspheme the gods. What we need to do is to dedicate our most devout faith. After the senior officials of Wakanda entered the altar under the guidance of the high priest Zuli, the excited people were also discussing intensely, and everyone's face was full of expectations. However, except for a few people who entered the altar in person, no one could know what kind of guidance the Black Panther goddess gave. At dusk, Zuli and a group of senior officials walked out of the altar area one after another, with almost different expressions on everyone's faces. The only thing they have in common is disbelief. In the stone forest temple at the core of the altar, they did see the real Black Panther goddess. However, the oracle ordered by the Black Panther goddess was not understood by everyone. The Black Panther goddess informed that in a few days, a descendant of the Supreme God would arrive to prepare Wakanda to welcome its new master. Goddess Black Panther, are you going to abandon us? Did we do something wrong to make you abandon the people who have always believed in you? As the high priest closest to the gods, Zhu Li asked. No, I will continue to protect and protect Wakanda. This is the most important opportunity for me and Wakanda in thousands of years. In the near future, you will all understand how crucial these ten turns are. Black Panther Goddess Buster's answer was full of excitement and expectation, just like the people who devoutly believe in her. Although the oracle of the Black Panther Goddess has made everyone more or less confused, the belief that has existed for thousands of years has made everyone never violate the will of the Black Panther Goddess, and they all respectfully agreed. 
When everyone left, the Black Panther goddess even said that when Wakanda's new master comes, she will open the altar for the entire Wakanda, and she will personally welcome him. With the oracle of the Black Panther goddess, preparations for an unprecedented grand welcoming ceremony began in full swing, just to wait for the son of the supreme god who would arrive in a few days. While they are busy, many people are also secretly fantasizing about what kind of existence this descendant of the supreme god is. Unknowingly, the entire Wakanda was caught up in anticipation. A week is of unparalleled significance to Wakanda, but in thrall, it is just a snap of the finger. At the moment, in the most sacred altar area of Wakanda, countless people of Wakanda have gathered early, all quietly staring in the direction of the Temple Stone Forest. In the central area of the Stone Forest, bits and pieces of mysterious and agile light pour out from all things, condensing into a strong female leopard composed of pure light. The figure of Black Panther Goddess Buster appeared, and everyone was suddenly excited, and countless fanatical eyes were focused on him. Ancient and majestic songs sounded from the mouths of countless Wakanda people, forming a unique rhythm. Along with this strange rhythm, the light and shadow of the Black Panther Goddess slowly changes. When the light subsided, a graceful and powerful figure appeared in front of everyone. Black Panther Goddess, along with Zhu Li's desolate roar, the singing stopped, and everyone half knelt on the ground with piety. No one raised their head to look directly at the true face of Black Panther Goddess Buster. The Black Panther Goddess in a simple long dress had soft eyes and stood on the altar, looking at all the people without speaking. Like everyone else, she is also looking forward to it. Looking forward to the arrival of the children of the creation god. At the moment, Thrall, who was far away in the Hellfire Club, had just gotten up. On the large bed behind him, two ketone bodies with different styles were still immersed in the exhaustion of ten crazy nights and had not yet awakened. Although they were delayed by the vibranium incident, Emma and Ayesa did not escape the fate of, reporting work, in the end. The fierce battle on the night of did not make Thrall tired at all, and he was still as vigorous as ever. With a little space in front of you, the light of the space magic array on your fingertips shines and the teleportation portal opens. The other end of the portal is connected to Wakanda's ancient altar. This is the place where the goddess felt dark during Sal's last spiritual investigation. Through the space portal, Sal was slightly stunned. Under the originally original altar, there were densely packed people. Above the altar, a beautiful figure emitting weak fluctuations of divine power had obviously been waiting for a long time. Is it so big, seeing this scene? How could Sal not understand that it was obviously a grand ceremony arranged by the Black Panther goddess Buster? At the same time, the opening of the space portal also attracted the attention of the Black Panther goddess, making her face look a little excited. Shen Guang looked at the jealousy that slowly expanded in awe. In the space portal, Sal took a step forward with a faint smile, and appeared in the air under the gaze of countless shocking eyes. I've met Lord Thrall. Although I had never met Thrall originally, the familiar divine pressure that faintly appeared on Thrall still made the Black Panther goddess react quickly and salute to Thrall respectfully. Lord Thrall, seeing the movement of the Black Panther goddess, all Wakanda people also crossed their hands on their chests and saluted Thrall. For Thrall, many people are not as respectful as they are to the Black Panther goddess, and more of them are curious. While bowing their heads and saluting, these people were also sizing up Sal secretly. Black Panther goddess Batra, don't be so restrained. Seeing everyone's attitude towards him, Sal unconsciously had a smile on his face. It seems that his plan to directly find the Black Panther goddess was quite successful. With the Black Panther goddess's supreme prestige in Wakanda, as long as she chooses to surrender, it will be easy for others. While smiling slightly, Thrall's eyes slowly swept across the group of Wakanda senior officials standing around the altar. Among these people, Sal saw several familiar faces. On the royal side, the fierce, Black Panther, T'Challa in the movie plot, T'Challa's biological sister Suri, who is the first person in Wakanda's scientific ability, and others were all present. Because of the relationship between the Black Panther goddess, these people are naturally attracted to Thrall. Let there be a strong sense of awe. Under the gaze of Sal's eyes that were as deep as a cold pool, everyone felt as if they were completely seen through, and their bodies were a little stiff. However, it was Thrall's unpredictability that made them more convinced of the oracle of the Black Panther goddess. Following such an existence can make Vulcan fans stronger. Lord Thrall, 
as Wakanda's patron saint, I am willing to lead Wakanda to follow you. The voice of the Black Panther goddess has a unique flavor, like the magnetism produced by the rolling throat of a female leopard. Who, ka, who? Following the voice of the Black Panther goddess, everyone also spoke in a low voice. This is Wakanda's rule, using this primitive growl to represent compliance with the will of the Black Panther goddess. My name is Sal Garland. Everyone, since you are willing to believe in the Black Panther goddess and follow me, I can guarantee that you will never regret your decision today. Being able to deal with Wakanda so smoothly, Thrall was naturally in a good mood. He spoke in a loud voice, and there was a faint fluctuation of divine power mixed with spiritual power emanating from his body. Faced with this momentum that is similar to the Black Panther Goddess but is superior to the Black Panther Goddess, no one has any doubts in their minds. Next, came the ancient and solemn ceremony of Wakanda. Under the guidance of the Black Panther Goddess, Thrall finally sat on the tall seat at the top of the altar made by the Black Panther Goddess herself. This seat means that Thrall will be the supreme god of Wakanda from now on. At the end of the ceremony, the royal family members and several tribal leaders stayed while the others left. With the instructions of the Black Panther goddess, the high priest Zuli announced loudly. At this point, everyone was filled with longing and slowly exited this solemn altar area. Lord Thrall, this is Wakanda's current Black Panther T'Challa, and this is Princess Suri. These five are... After Zhu Li's introduction, everyone stood in front of Sal and saluted, expressing their devotion to Sal. These are all Wakanda rituals, and Thrall was not impatient. He faced them with a smile from beginning to end, which made everyone who was a little worried slowly feel relieved. Everyone, I know something about the history of Wakanda. The development of Wakanda to this day is inextricably linked to the vibranium that fell countless years ago. However, if I tell you, the vibranium that allowed Wakanda's technology to take off was only a few. It is one of the technological crystallizations of the once glorious Goliath Empire in the universe before the era. I wonder what you think. After everyone saluted, Sal didn't delay and spoke directly to vibranium. As soon as the news came out, everyone's expressions suddenly changed. Even the Black Panther goddess Buster showed a shocked expression. It turns out that vibranium, which they regarded as a gift from God, was actually one of the technological crystallizations of a certain civilization in the universe. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.